hello guys and welcome back to another video on today's video i wanted to do a video where i showed you everything you need to start your business i wanted to make this video like a while ago because um this is the video i was looking for when i started this business and i feel like a lot of people who follow me here on youtube are here because they are wanting to start their business or they are starting their business and they need tips and tricks that you know people who have been in the business already know and some people love to gatekeep all those little tips and tricks but not me i like to share and i hope other people who are in the business don't come at me because i am doing this but i i'm just sharing information that's already out there and you kind of have to look a lot to get that information and if you follow me all i want to do is help you guys um succeed in your business and i you know if i can help anybody as i wanted to be helped when i started this business that's kind of what i want to do for you guys so i have here <clears throat> notes of everything i want to tell you you need to start a business so to start off um I'm going to go straight to the point. Uh, well, my kid is here. You hear him calling me. His dad is out there with him. So, you know, he's, um, she loves his mama when he, he can't have mama. <laughs> Anyways, um, to start off, guys, we are going to start off with some essentials you need, no matter if you need, um, you no know, matter if you're going to do a garland or a bouquet. Because in my business, what I do in Balloon Fairy, <clears throat> it's I do um, bouquets and I do garlands. I started with bouquets because, like, I don't know if you saw my video, Get to Know Me. Um, Decoraciones Globos inspired me to do bouquets, so that's where I started. And then I kind of grew into doing bouquets. So, yeah. Oh, he wants to talk to me. <laughs> the video. But, okay, guys, I think I left on some basics. No matter if you're doing a bouquet or if you're doing a garland, what you need to start off is of course this beautiful um balloon pump there is so like a big variety of the pumps that you you can get to start off i would say um start off with this one it's from amazon i'll i'll link everything i can down below most likely from amazon <laughs> but um yeah this pump it is i don't know if the, i'll try to link the brand too but it is so good like it's never breaking it's always you know lasted i think i had it already for like two years and it's never given me problems it has two you know two um nasals two, two things to pump uh, balloons on this is the electric this is um you have to turn it on here so it stays like that for a long time this is only when you push down so yeah guys i recommend getting one of these ones because these ones are super useful and they're not expensive and you know they last a while so they're worth your money so i would recommend getting this pump to start off if you make you know a lot of money after and you want to get those expensive ones go ahead and do so like i said i've been with this pump for two years and i have not bought a new one i probably should but i haven't had the need to um but yeah this is a pump i use and then this one this one is for the 260 balloons so you need this pump to you know uh pump all those 260s that you need or five inches this is great for that so yeah guys i also recommend buying this one and then the balloon sizer let me go get it because i don't have it so this is the balloon sizer you guys need it has um the eight the nine the ten all the different one little ones sometimes people like using the wood ones because they're sturdier and you get like a precise measurement i guess you can say but these ones are great too um i've used it for like i said two years when i started this is the first three things i got and they are with me still to this day so i recommend them 110 percent and i'll link them down below i got those three things from <clears throat> amazon so yes and then so that's kind of like the basic basic and of course this one the ooglu the ooglu dots the pro i have them uh, i'll link them down below too i got i get them from amazon and the ooglu dashes and they i like this one is specifically like there's different sizes but i like the ones with the little squares um does it say sizes 
I think half inch by something. So, but this is it guys. This is the box I get. And this is how I tape my um, cluster, like my five inches cluster or my um, bouquet. Um, I have to teach you some tricks and tricks on how to use them because sometimes on foil, they won't work. But if you use the tricks I shown you on my previous videos, you will get those to work for your foil balloons as well. So yes, I like those. So that's kind of the basic, basic. There's so many things you need to start a business, but uh, material-wise, that's the basic. Of course, you need an LLC, you need you know, some kind of money to buy all this stuff, product. So I'm kind of just helping you guys with the materials. The other stuff, you kind of, you know, have to do it, you know, all of it you have to do yourself, but the LLC and all the stuff, you have to go with somebody to help you with that, but you should do that too. Insurance, all different, that, all that kind of different stuff. So that's kind of it for the pumps and the um, main material used for either one. For, um, you would also need, you know, the balloons. For the balloons, there's so many different websites and so many different brands you can purchase. I will post a picture here letting you know like what brands I like and the brands I use, the websites I shop for. So to name a few is uh, Qualitex, um, Decomex, um, which other ones I use? Decomex, Qualitex. There's so many, like there's a huge list. I can think of every, all of them, but um, I used a lot and I will link down below. I would just say, um, if you wanna start off with product, I would say purchase balloons that you can create a garland with. So start buying balloons that you kinda will use to make you know, a, a display and take pictures and promote that. So I started, doing uh bouquet so i bought mermaid unicorn and mickey mouse so and i did those three bouquets and i started promoting those and that's how i started everything so i bought um the shiny balloon the chrome balloons in color uh the green the silver and the purple and for my uh unicorn balloon i bought pink white and uh, for my other balloon, Mickey Mouse, red and black. So those are the colors I started with and I ordered them for barge and balloons and they were the Decomex. And then um, from there, people requested stuff and I was buying product as orders were coming in. So that's kind of how I started buying the balloons, the latex balloons. For my foil balloons, I also order as I need, but you know, as in my get to know me video, I did purchase a lot from Alibaba, so I had a bunch, you know, to start with, because I also started selling them. Um, I do sell them still in um, Etsy, if you want to check those out, I do have bulk, so you can buy in, uh, you know, big amounts too, if you need them. Uh, so yeah, guys, I have a rack right here, I'm looking at it right now, and that's where I display all my balloons. And I'll show you a video of that uh, at the end or next to see how I storage them. Or that could be another video of how I storage my balloons. I am not a pro yet. I still have to figure out how I should display them. But, you know, that's kind of how I do it for now. So, yeah, guys, to start buying your uh, foil and your latex, order as you need and as your orders are coming in of course please always take consideration order at least two weeks before at least the you know because you want to get the product in time you want to make sure it's in stock you know if things work would work the best way it would be like a month before but sometimes things don't work like that i would not say order i, I don't suggest buying balloons from walmart or amazon uh, unless they're like the good brands, like I said, like Qualitex, um, Bella, um, Vitalik, all those different brands because um, they're they're not worth it. They're not good quality and they will pop and you don't want to have a bad experience on your first orders because then you kind of are let down and you're like, I don't want to do this. So I would say don't order like cheap balloons to start with good ones because you want to have a good experience. And then as you kind of get to know more of the balloons, 
you understand why you should invest your money on buying good um quality latex balloons i would you know say that uh in the most you know possible way for you to understand don't buy cheap balloons no warmer balloons no uh, balloons from amazon or party city or dollar store unless you're doing like a challenge video or something but besides that please don't buy those okay so that's kind of where i i get my balloons uh and what brands i like so as far as that so next step would be what other product you recommend besides you know that that kind of is just for bouquets and like main material you use or tools you use for the balloons next i would say um purchase high shine to make your balloons shinier when you're doing a garland i would say that because uh some people like the matte look like i did um star wars uh decoration they're like oh i want a matte and i'm like well i just don't spray this so yes that's another tip i would use if you are doing your garland make sure you use this after because it's oily so your uh, um, glue dots won't stick to it the balloon or you know if you're tying them then you're fine but you keep that in mind don't use this before you are done you have to be completely done and use this and let it dry so just spray 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 and it dries by itself you don't need to rub it you don't need to do anything so yes <clears throat> next I would say by the high flow this ones are great to make your quality uh, your quality your latex balloons last longer so buy this this is great just half a pump and you're good to go and this is to make your um your balloons flow longer okay only for that don't pump this in your foil balloons only in your in your uh, latex balloons when you are using helium please and okay so those are two other products i would say so regards like backdrops and stands where do i stand with that <laughs> is um i would recommend buying the this next um when i'm gonna post a picture of the one i'm talking about it's a black uh backdrop that you hang curtains on so i would say get that and get like a basic curtains like start with like colors you think you're gonna use the most like start with the display if you think you're gonna do like um black and gold garland get a black backdrop or if you think you're gonna um do like uh uh elsa and you're gonna order the backdrop from amazon or something then you can just tie that with the tie the backdrop with this this is another tool i got from um what's it called Lowe's it's I don't know what to call but it's this one that you get from Lowe's and this is how you what you use to like um hold your backdrops and on your wood drops you also just put this there and tie a uh, ribbon or 260s and that's how you tie your garlands to your backdrops or how you make your um backdrop stay on your poles so this is what i use so there's different sizes i use this orange size well all of them are orange so i use this size and the smaller one i don't have it with me right now to show you but i'd say get that so get this the the, the backdrop and uh, it's gonna be linked link down below and also like a wood drop because a wood drop a wood backdrop um my husband made those for me i don't know if you could find somebody locally that can help you make those or somebody uh online that can help you purchase those my husband didn't make those for me and they're one of the things that i get rented the most and i use the most for parties i i'll show you several pictures of the parties i've done and how I use them. I do paint them every single time I want to change the color. I know some people use, what's it called, like, like, um, backdrops or, you know, like, um, I don't know what's the word, but they use curtains to tie it and change the color. I don't do that. I do paint it every time I use a different one. But that being said, I 
I don't know if a painted pink happens to be rented pink like three times in a row. So it doesn't cost me money. And for me, it's more worth it like that because I don't know. I'll try it, but uh, I like it how it looks painted. So, yes, that's another thing I would recommend. Get a backdrop. Um, I'll get sizes for you of what the size my husband made for me. I think it's a perfect size. And, um, you know, get one made at least two would be the best. But, yeah, we'll start with those. And then as you go on, guys, just um, you can start adding things to your business. Like I only started with that back two years ago. And then I started adding as I kept growing. So I added the Barbie box. I'll show you a picture. I also added the uh, the gold metal drop, uh, metal stand, which I don't use much. I think I've used it once. So... It was not worth my investment, but maybe in the future I would use it more. Maybe I'll start displaying more. Maybe I don't display enough. And then I also bought the uh, full circle one, which I also post a picture, which I. Also, if you only use once. Hopefully I'll use it more. I love it. I do plan on making some YouTube videos using it and then using those photos to promote it. So that's another way to do it. And this the ones that I'm mentioning is just adding them after you started your business because you don't want to, you know, buy too much and, you know, uh, get overwhelmed. Add those as you start growing. Um, another thing I added was the tables, the cylinder. Those are not a big investment, so I would say maybe do one or two of those. Um, all the materials I got from uh, Lowe's and my husband made it for me. So um, maybe I can post a short clip of uh, how he made them in the future. If you're interested, leave them down below and I'll show you all the materials he used. Um, here it's a picture. Those get rented a lot as well. So I do recommend maybe doing at least two of those. And then um, the candy car, he also made that all out of wood. So um, if you guys are local, you can get somebody to make it for you. If you guys were near my area, my husband will make it for you. But yeah. Um, um, I did add those. And then the grass also, I, I'll post a picture. I'll post a picture of all of them as I'm talking maybe. And um, the grass, I, do, I haven't used it a lot. I would say it's not a like a first purchase you should do if you're not requested. I would say that. <clears throat> and then uh, the shimmer wall. I've got rented that twice. So that was a good investment. But it, they are expensive. So I think my shimmer wall was like 250 300 So, you know, it's an investment. But it does get rented, <clears throat> you know, at least. And then which other one? <clears throat> my characters like all my characters i get printed from a shop here in miami so that's where i get all those uh printed at and then my marquee letters and um my numbers i got them from mexico if you want a story on those how much i paid how i got them transported here uh who was the person who made them for me let me know and i'll make a video of that letting you guys know who did those but i purchased those in mexico that's a purchase i did last year so it was a year into my business and i could afford it so yeah guys i don't say do that right away if you have the money of course but um it's an investment so you want to be safe so that's kind of it for what you should um <clears throat> order or to start with another one that's a great thing you should add into your business is um this beauty right here i have a cam cameo what is the name uh, i don't see the name where is the name i don't know but it's a Cameo 4. So this is what I have, guys. And I think you guys should totally get one of these machines. I think mine was like $300 and almost $400, $390 something. You should totally get one of those, guys, because it's very requested when adding names to backdrops, when adding names to balloon bouquets. 
Uh, it's a great investment and you get the money back when you buy that. You can also report those in your taxes um, as an expense. So I would say get either the Cameo or the Cricut. I like the Cameo because I don't have to use, um, what's it called? The, the sheet, the plastic sheet. I can just put the roll there and I don't have to worry about like, does it glue or anything? I'll make a video of it if you guys want or how I use it and how all the features that I love about it. And then of course, if you're gonna get your uh, print, your cutter machine, also get the vinyls. Um, I get those from Vine, one, two, three Vine or something like that. And they're great. They're like $3 for a uh, five foot long vinyl. So yes, that would be, I think my last tip guys. Uh, besides that, I could give you tips on record everything you do. Take videos and pictures because um, you want to showcase all your work and make sure that you have, you get attention um, for your work and you start getting booked guys. So yeah, that's kind of it for this video guys. I hope I gave you some good information and I hope you get these things and I hope you start your business and I wish you the best of luck. Just Put your mind into it if you put your mind into it you can do it um it's not easy but it's definitely possible you just gotta keep trying so i hope this helps guys in the future maybe i can tell you um some more stuff that i you probably need that's kind of all i can think of right now but if you think of something else let me know i'll make sure to let you know where i got it and um any information i can give you and stay tuned guys for next video I will be showing you what I'm going to be selling for Valentine's, which is this beautiful basket. It's a teddy bear, some chocolate, and of course the balloons. So that's going to be next video, guys. I will show you how to make that. And thank you so much for supporting me. And thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends about uh, the videos I make and get them to watch and learn. Uh, let's not get keep anything guys and we'll make sure we help each other and stay safe guys I'll see you in the next video. Bye